So I gotta take the hinges off. Going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here at the cabin at Maple Monkey Media. As always, my name is Adam. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I thank you for stopping by, checking out what's happening here at the cabin. Feels super good to get back here. It's a balmy minus 15 degrees or so. If you can see out through the windows, though, the sun is shining, so minus the cold, it is a beautiful day down here. So the first task right now, I gotta get some firewood cut, get the stove going because it's a little chilly in here. I got some hurricane ties that I wanna chuck up top since we got our rafters all blocked in last video. I'd like to get some uh, some stairs on the old staircase, but I don't have any two by sixes. So might cut some trees down or might see what I have for fallen trees that I can use for that. Um, have the door that I have to fix as well and uh, all kinds of other things. So stick along and we'll see what this video entails. Alrighty, well the fire's going, got a little bit of wood cut, not too much, but uh, it's getting the cold out of here, so right back there, that's here and right there, the door, gonna get that off the hinges and uh, gonna get it all boarded back in so it can actually use it again, and then up top here as well, uh, right there, uh, gonna get that all boarded in, uh, that's pretty much the last spot with any big openings, so once everything's all good there, that can continue moving on with the insulation and we might be able to hold some heat. Probably not today, but in later, later episodes. So this is our next order of business. You can see the frame that I had around the door is just completely just busted from when the, uh, the thieves broke in. You can see it even better. The woods just split. So I gotta take the hinges off and make a new casing around the door. Good thing some pieces are still salvageable. So that's what we're on to next. Picked up a new drill set the other day, it was on sale. First time using it here.
All right, so you see right there, that's where my hinges are gonna go. I have the old one where I took my uh, chisel set and I carved it out. Unfortunately, I don't have a chisel set because it got stolen. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do to get these, uh, get these recessed so the hinges can, uh, can stay flush when the door is closed and I have my weather stripping and all that good stuff. I found my, uh, my hurricane ties the other day as well. So these ties go on my rafters. I did it in a previous video when I did the, uh, the right side. So we're gonna do the left side over here later on today. Uh, I have 10 here, so we'll get those hurricane ties on. And uh, what the purpose of these are, there's a couple different uh, variations of them, but these hook onto your rafters and your top plate. So your rafters and your roof don't go flying off in a high wind storm. All right, like I say, we have the first one in the books. Boom, boom, folds down on itself. Maybe a little bit more off of this edge, but down there is good. A little bit more off the top, and uh, and the first one's all good. Check it out, yo. It's coming outside. I gotta sharpen the chainsaw for a little bit here, get some wood. But look at this. I found one 12 foot two by four covered in ice but i think with this 12 foot 2 by 6 here or did i say 2 by 4 before yeah so i found a 12 foot 2 by 6 here and it's a uh, it's yeah like i say it's 12 feet so hopefully i don't think my two stringers are longer than six feet so i'm going to get this all de-iced and maybe we're going to get on with the stairs <laughs> Well, there we have it. We got all of them notched out. There's the one on the left that I'll be using. And there's the split one on the, on the right. So we'll get this attached to the door and then we'll get the door back up and uh, closed in up here as well. And maybe we can get some warmth in here.
All right, we're cooking with grease now. Look at that, got the door casing, all good to go. I don't have the bottom piece for it yet, but that's completely fine. We are A-okay. Weather stripping will go on the other side. Get her all painted up red, get the knob on. Bob's your uncle. Even if it'll come off, cause it's all rusty. Oh well, it is actually holding heat in there ever since we got the first wall insulated on the last trip. Now that we got the door on too, well almost on, it has actually a temperature difference from outside to inside. So the next order of business now that we have the door on will be uh, right above the door right there. We have the door in place. The next order of business will be just getting that part up there all boarded in. Yep. Three foot two and a half, all right. Let's get a couple of those cut. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. There's one right there.
Alrighty, y'all. We are just moving right along. I can see my breath a little bit up here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But we're up in the sleeping loft up here, and I'm actually surprised. It is quite cozy up here. Obviously, heat rises, and we have the fire going. It's uh, it's going pretty good. Not as good as I like it, because I haven't had any time to go get wood, and my wood pile is completely covered. But uh, we're up here onto the sleeping loft, and we're going to get over onto this side, and we're going to get laying down our hurricane ties. So these are the bad boys right here. Hurricane ties, right there. And uh, I'll switch it over here, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done, just in case you haven't seen the video of me doing uh, the side over here. So there's the, uh, the hurricane ties over on this side, and we're going to do the exact same thing over on the other side. There's the, uh, the boards that we all boarded in in between the rafters on last video. And then you can see over on this side, same thing, but no hurricane ties. So we'll get on that right now. Check another thing off the list. warm up here holy all right well there's the first one got another one two three four five six seven got another eight or so and then all the hurricane ties are done i tell you oh it is nice and roasty toasty up here there's a couple spots that i see over here you can see it in behind me right over there and right up here you can see there's uh, there's some heat escaping from there. There's a spider web up there, and I just see it go like there because that's where the uh, the heat is escaping. So I'll have to get those boarded in as well when I get the ladder next trip. Holy jeez, by George. I had to take the old hat off. It's getting warm up here working in the old loft. Holy, holy, holy. Well, just like that. Check, 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 check. Both sides of uh, Hurricane Ties are on. Check it out, y'all. Check it out, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Might even be able to hear the, uh, I have the uh, wood stove fan going down there. That's what that is right there absolutely works wicked but yeah there we go awesome stuff check 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 there's the right side there's the left side good to go all right so what i'm gonna be doing now gonna be making a template for the stairs There's one mark we need. All right, well, there we go. We have the template of uh, one of my stringers all done. It's only in two by four, but I have the two by six that we found earlier. Just have to make it about an inch longer or so, but that's how it's gonna look right there on the top. And we got the angle coming down there off the bottom. And like I say, trying to match it up with that post right here so it doesn't stick out past that. So it's looking like those are the correct dimensions all the way around, looking great.
take my square, just extend these lines. A little hard because it's all full of ice. And we're going to do the same thing. Done. Woo. Right on. So there's where that extra, I don't know, about a half an inch came in handy. Good there, coming up all the way up to the top there. And bam, looking absolutely wonderful. So I've just got one more to cut for this side. And the stairs are on the way. After that's the case, still need to build the landing up here. And once that's good, then I will get my maple tree, my maple log, and run it from this landing to that landing, and we will have some stairs on the go. next stringer all good to go man that ice nasty 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 And just like that, we have both stringers cut. Looking great. There's one that we have all good to go. There's the other one we have all good to go. Cooking with grease now and absolutely love, love, love that the staircase is on the go. Oh, we are just checking things off left, right, and center. Feels absolutely awesome.
All right, y'all, super happy with the progress we've made today. Super, super excited. It is actually warm in the cabin now that we have the front wall here, uh, have some insulation in it, and now that we have the door on, actually on, and more boards on the front there. So there's literally only a couple spots that there's a draft coming in or out. Absolutely wonderful. Still see my breath a little bit. Don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but nothing compared to what it was earlier. There's a big temperature difference from stepping inside to outside. So this is gonna be Adam back here at the cabin at Maple Monkey Media signing off for today. Muchly, muchly appreciate y'all checking out the video and I hope you continue chasing your dreams. Keep that stick on the ice. There is no failure if you just keep going. You can't start at the finish line, but you can't start if you don't start. So just start, get on what you're getting on. Adam, signing off. Have a blessed day, y'all. God bless. Woo -hoo -hoo.